YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. What up? It's Nice. It's time to do another ranked improvements video. That's right. This is the third one. And why am I doing this every five, six months? Well, because I really care about this game. It's my job. Uh, you guys know, I, I basically, this is my whole full-time thing is playing this video game and coaching it. Uh, so I really care about ranked and I really care about, personally, I care about North America scene um, because it's where I happen to live. Um, and I just want the game to be better and I want this stuff to keep getting in people's ears and, and in people's minds and I have a big following and, and this is how I feel I can help. So I've done this multiple times. Before we get into my list though, I have one thing that I have to advertise today and that, my friends, is my second channel. Um, if you guys have liked my coaching, you'll love my second channel. Uh, I've, I've changed the name to League of Legends Challenger Coaching. Um, there's going to be a link in the description below. My my editor is doing a phenomenal job of making really good videos, good content, um, and, and basically doing more of what you guys like, which is the coaching. Um, it's from myself. It's from my other coaches, which, by the way, coaches like Oryx, Coach you know and love. You can book him at Nice.gg. Coach like Falaris, like Ray, all those guys. You can book at Nice.gg. Um, wonderful coaches. Um, and yeah, that's my advertisement. I don't I don't hit you guys with sponsor ads. I don't hit you guys with that stuff. Um, I advertise my own my own stuff, my own brand. Um, so yeah, that's you gotta deal with that. To watch my 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 YouTube channel, you have to deal with 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 my ads. Yes, the Nice ads. So <clears throat> without further ado. Let's revisit yet again um, the things that that should happen in order to improve ranked. Now, uh, listen, if you hear this list and you like it, share it. Share it wherever you can. Share it on Twitter. Share it with your friends. Message Riot, please. Because I truly believe that these changes that I'm about to show you guys could really improve the ranked experience, not only for high elo, but for everybody. Um it doesn't have to be only for high elo. It's a culture thing. If the community, if the community agrees with the changes and starts and starts campaigning for them, and, and I raise awareness for it, and people raise awareness for it, it could actually help. So we're gonna start this list off right. Um, this is the oh sorry I didn't I didn't title this properly. The ranked fixes awesomest list. Yeah, list. Typing's hard. Elite play dodging still needs to go. Now, there's a big debate about dodging. I've heard Tyler One, I've heard LS, I've heard all these different opinions about dodging. I'm going to frame it for you like this. Dodging needs to go for the health of Q times. Now, it doesn't have to go for low elo. Um, it, doesn't, it doesn't have to, it just has to go diamond and up. The reason why it has to go and, and what this will fix is Q times are getting higher and higher with this game. As more people figure out how to dodge, they're going to dodge more and more and more. When they realize it doesn't affect anything but LP, not MMR, they're going to dodge more and more and more. Now, I've heard LS I mention, he said something along the lines of people don't dodge to get favorable matchups or, or favorable team comps or whatever, which is just complete... I love LS. That's complete bullshit. Um... That sounds like that sounds like that comes from from somebody who's not playing solo queue that often is what that sounds like. And I mean no disrespect, seriously. It just doesn't. Because that's what happens. People look at a matchup, I hear it all the time on streams. I've heard Drew Tit talk about how he dodges matchups on one of my podcasts that he doesn't like. I've heard I've heard uh tons of players say, I don't want I don't want to face this player on this. I'm dodging this. I don't want to face so and so. I'm dodging. It shouldn't be in the game. People are using it to to cheat. They're using it to get favorable matchups, to fold hands. Imagine you get your team, other team. That's cards. Those are hands that you're dealt. They're folding until they get favorable hands to play. All right? It needs to go. It's become a skill. Everybody does it, and it makes the queue times higher. The solution is simple. Once you're at Diamond MMR, you click rank, you click Q to find a game, it's like, hey, there's a little thing that pops up for the first few months or whatever, or even it, you could check, check a little box that says, don't show this message anymore. It says, hey, since you're in diamond MMR or higher, you can't dodge or you lose, right? Done. People say, oh, people will troll me, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, they will, but they're also going to just hard demote, right? If you're not trolling and they are, they're going to hard demote. It's a very simple solution. One trick ponies also will have to get a little bit better at the game. That's good for the health of the game. That's good for the game. People will stop 
just giving up in champ selects and, and being willing to just sabotage or fake dodges or all that stuff, it will slowly phase out. Um, has to happen. It's it's very this is the most important thing in league right now, and it's something that Riot failed. They spectacularly failed uh on addressing. Um, they didn't actually change anything with the the Mark Yetter post. Um, duo removed. That's number two. It should be solo bolo. Solo bolo. Uh, yeah. I should, should be quoting that guy. What's wrong with me? Um, there is a, uh, a flex queue to play more team style ranked. And Duo is just causing a ton of problems. It, it, it's caused funneling over the years. The Master Yi Tark funnel. Uh, the Yumi bullshit strats that come out. Um, top laners just getting exploit dove by, by duos. Uh, bot lanes getting just beat up by pro duos all the time. Um, it's the thing that has basically inflated win rates and screwed with the actual ranking system for so long. Anybody that plays high elo knows I'm right. Stop lying. You know I'm right. Um, for the good of the game, it should be removed. Um, it should be removed everywhere, by the way, uh, because there is a flex queue. There is a girl, uh, I can't think of her name. I can't think of her name. She played Yumi to Masters. Um, yeah, I can't think of her name right now. I think it's, I, I want to say it's Amelia Grace, something like that. I, I don't know. She played Yumi to Master Solo. So I don't want to hear support enchanters whining about this. Um, no matter what your role, if you play solid, you play consistent, you climb, it's what it is. And guess what? If you're climbing slow, learn how to play a real carry role in ranked. Done. Everybody's going to fill those spots one way or another. Um, and it shouldn't be through, you, you shouldn't be able to exploit or abuse the, the ladder system by doing. And if you want to duo, there's flex queue. And this will increase flex queue uh, population. And it'll make solo queue about serious gaming for, for solo players. Um, number three, data mining and champ select. Another big one. These first three, man, I should, I should like, I should like green these. These are just so, that's a, that's like a booger green. I should like green these. These are like some of the biggest, just most important changes that could happen. So let me give you, let me give you uh, my thoughts here. So op.gg, you can look anybody up right now and they can have a 15 loss streak or whatever, or they could have a three loss streak, or they could be wanting to work on a champion that they, that they've trained on in norms on like a different account or something. There is no need to be able to data mine your teammates in a champ select. I don't care who you are. I will be the first to admit that I have done this and you probably have done this. But it's also been done to you. Um, it creates hostile champ selects and in the event you're matched with the same losing teams for the, from the last games and it further inflames tension. You should be able to opt out of sites like op.gg and all those because... It's for the player's protection, and it's also to make the games more about the actual ranked game itself. If players can't see names, if players can't judge others based on their, their stats and all that, people will have to focus on the game. The game itself. All this stuff, dodging, yeah, like, you could argue, like, I'm a competitive guy, you could argue that, like, looking through team comps or looking at players and, and folding games, that's a, that's a skill. Or that using op.gg to data mine your teammates, that's a skill. But at the end of the day, it's not what League should be about. We're spending way too much time doing stat tracker of Legends as opposed to playing League of Legends the game. And the queue times and the, the toxicity of the game, it, it, a big part of a lot of the issues are from the dodging and from the data mining stuff i find it very interesting that a company like riot has allowed this to happen um considering that it's such an easy thing to just turn off uh yes sites sites would take a a, a ding to their bottom line but at the end of the at the end of the day it's a very unhealthy thing uh to have to have right now in the game you shouldn't be able to just stat track each other like that it's very unhealthy it shouldn't be a part of the game it's not why they built the game it's not why riot built this game it's not why any of us played this game to have people look at our data and and judge us based on win rates losses all that stuff i mean we we you already there's already enough negativity in this game and i'm going to be the first to admit that i can't help myself that it's when it's there and neither can anybody else it shouldn't be there that's the issue. Uh, it's not my fault. And it shouldn't be there in the first place. Four is just an option. Um, but it, it's not that important uh, necessarily. So I, I put it down though because I do think it's still important. Uh, disable chat and ranked for all players or simply just allow players to opt out of chat. 
Um, all intent can be communicated as I taught in my boot camp uh, a couple months ago, AKA Pinglish for those who did my boot camp. Um, Pinglish, you can communicate anything you want to do through pings. Uh, I prove it time and time again. Um, SMS link for ranked, ranked only, China number one, communism rules for league, Pog. Privacy is cool for the internet. It's not so cool for competitive team games, as you guys have figured out. Uh, also, this re reduces smurf accounts if done correctly. Um, yeah, people will still smurf, but it's more trouble troublesome to do, making it harder for people to always be... Making it harder to do for people, which is always good for the game at large. Um, if you have to link your phones... Uh, if you have to link your accounts, it makes it a lot more difficult to make Smurf accounts. You can see here, I say in six, we can tether all of our accounts together. People will behave more in ranked if they knew that the punishments actually had value and it was linked to you, your ID, your your, your phone, your this, your that. It's going to be more inconvenient to get accounts and people say, oh, people will still Smurf. People still don't wear seatbelts. You don't say, you don't say, oh, well, we're not putting seatbelts in the car. Guys, it's the same thing. It's very simple logic. I've talked about this in previous videos. Why would we make it easier for people to smurf? If you want smurfing to be gone, make it more difficult, right? It's never going to go away completely, but inconvenience people that are doing it. Like myself, I have a, I have a, a big old list of smurf accounts. I'll happily, I'll be the first right now. If I knew that these changes were in ranked and ranked was going to be about serious ranked play, you know, the dodging stuff is going to be gone, all this stuff is going to be gone. I'll be the first person to play on one account. Me and a lot of content creators would do the same thing. Because we know that people were getting punished. We know that that all these gimmicks were were out of this out of the system. Because these are high elo targeted changes. A lot of high elo guys, the guys that really care about the game at the the longevity of the game will like these changes. Um last one, another controversial one, but I think another very important one. Uh if these changes ever were to go through, um these changes would obviously make high elo a lot different. One trick ponies and trolls will lose more LP more often. And as a result, rank should be calibrated to the new and more competitively focused ladder. Riot accounts that had MMR uh, exploits, um, not even really exploits, but just like imbalanced MMR. Boosted accounts, obviously. The norms queue exploit that happened this year where you could play a bunch of norms games with high MMR players and norms for some reason. Uh, and the diamond one duo exploit stuff that was happening um, all those things will be fixed as well with a hard reset. Yes, the ladder will be the Wild West for the first few months, uh, but the, the ladder has actually not been reset, hard reset, in I think over like six years um, because Riot wants to make people feel like they retain rank even if they don't play. Uh, obviously, you know, this is by design, but it's something that, again, if you guys share this information and, and, and use me as kind of like a guide, like a goalpost here, uh, you can understand why that's a little silly. If I log into an account uh, right now that's like four years old that had like Diamond 1 MMR, I could still play against Diamond players. Pretty fucked up uh, if you think about it, and it shouldn't be that way. Uh, last thing I'll say, uh, bonus ranked incentives. Honestly, upon revisiting this talk again, I don't know if you really need it. Um, I feel like if ranked was actually corrected, a lot of these exploits were finally fixed. I, I feel like... People would want to play ranked more um, and ranked would hold a little bit more value again. Right now, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I've seen people making a uh, challenger this year. Uh, I, and and a part of me is just, I, I don't think I've ever felt so like people making high elo this year. I, I don't think I've ever felt so like whoopie doo. Good job. You, you made high elo. Good job. With all these things that we talk about, with all these very clear exploits happening, um, with all these, like, with all these people that just don't even care about the ladder anymore, you got guys like me making stuff like, like, these fixes would make the ladder matter a lot more. Um, and the sad thing is, 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 like, China, for example, Korea, it's a lot harder to get accounts. Ranked matters more to these guys because of that. Uh, some of these changes are already in play. Um, it makes me sad because it, it is such an easy fix uh, for a lot of regions. It's so easy to make the game better for a lot of regions and to make ranked a place where skill is the most important thing. Not smurfing to feel good about yourself. Uh, not data mining to make people feel bad about what they're doing. Uh, these changes are, are just super, super simple to enact and they would fix the game. So that's just what I think. I'll be back again in about four or five months to post this again. You know why? Because I'm dedicated to the craft, right? 
Uh, and yeah, you guys know I love the game and I love you. If you like this video, like, comment, share, subscribe, all that stuff. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, you know, I, I don't know if I completely addressed every counter argument to dodging and all that. Uh, but I think I did a pretty good job of, of hitting all my, my main bullet points. So you guys have a good one. Make sure again to check out my second channel. Make sure again uh, to support the second channel and make sure to go to nice.gg if you want to book coaching um, from myself or my, my team. I've got like one of the best coaching teams right now in the biz, one of the best coaching sites in the biz. Uh, you guys know I've, I've coached basically thousands of clients at this point. So thank you. Have a good one. I love you guys. Peace. See you guys soon.